Hello everybody. We're here to take a tour through the pool room, aka concert room. I've had a number of questions from people visiting over the years about some of the things that have gone on the wall, so I thought I'd just make a video walkthrough of what we got in place today. Of course, standard disclaimers, these things will change over time, but as of today, this is what we've got in here. And we'll start off with the mandatory fun flag signed by Weird Al Yankovic, followed by a collection of various VIP passes from different shows over the years. And then on to the very first poster in the room, and that is Mr. Bungle from LA, night one of three. They did a total of, I think, seven shows in the US, and it was one of the last ones I got to see right before the pandemic hit. And fortunately or unfortunately, that is what uh, actually allowed them to go into the studio and put all that down on a record. So it was great. Uh, but that is one of 50 signed posters that they had at the venue, and I barely got it. I got the last one. So that's my buddy Jeff and I at the show, and a photo that I took while there. Mike Patton, Scott Ian, Dave Lombardo, Trevor Dunn in the background. Next up, the King of Clowns, Clownvis Presley himself. Always a good time. Uh, I've gotten to see him a couple of times. Got to uh, hang out and talk for a few. And he's even recorded a few uh, Valentine's Day messages and Christmas messages for my missus. And uh, yeah, that actually went over better than I expected. So, Mr. Vic Rattlehead, always making an appearance. Next up is a set list from Something Involving a Monkey. Yes, that's the name of the band. And this is the band. And this was uh, after that show there, they came over and uh, hung out before they went over to Cincinnati. So this was actually taken in the house, even though it looks like it's outdoors. And up in Cleveland, I got to see Something Involving a Monkey with Psycho Stick and Idea Men, pretty much one of the best three piece um, bands I could have seen on one ticket and got a VIP so you'll see some pieces of that throughout the decor here today. Next up is Cybertronic Spree. Uh, this was a great show. This was from the one that we saw in Cincinnati and the poster is signed by the band in their Transformers characters. From that show, uh, some friends of mine, Jason and Craig, uh, with the band after the show. And one of those pieces I told you about, Psycho Stick, this is getting to meet up with the band. And next up is the AFI Very Proud of You record signed by the band. This was um, one of their earliest albums, more in their punk phase, and uh, it was given to me by a friend whose band was playing with them. And uh, he was not as much into the band, so he gave it to me, and I was uh, much appreciated. Next up, we have Frank Carter from Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes. This was a picture I took of him from the pit. Uh, quite a stage presence, quite a show, and I've been a fan ever since. And that was Rock on the Range, which I believe was his first U.S. appearance. Next up from the GWARBQ, um, and it was an fortunate slash unfortunate event, but uh, Dave Brocky had passed, so uh, it turned out to be somewhat of a funeral along with a mix of bands uh, supporting the legacy of Gore and kind of became the kickoff for the new version of Gore at that point. Um, but this was the Viking funeral for Odorous Urungus, um, AKA Dave Brocky, and they shot an arrow out into the boat and lit his uh, costume on fire. So it was a nice send off. From that same barbecue is my buddy Mike getting to meet Tesco V from the Meat Men and uh, definitely getting a kick out of meeting one of his heroes. Next up we've got Kiss from their ever-long farewell tour. Um, this was signed by the drummer Eric Singer and this is another friend of mine named Mike and I. Uh, we were not dressed up going into it, but uh, we were at a bar and they were doing face painting. So we decided to uh, support each other and get face painted for the, the concert. Great show, other than tearing my Achilles tendon. 
Next up is another set list, this one by Dog Fashion Disco um, from one of the more recent Cleveland shows, pre-pandemic. And one of four LA Faith No More posters that we'll be seeing as we go through here. And this was night one, I believe. Next up is Primus from the Ambushing the Storm tour. Um, that was the first time I got to meet Les Claypool, which you'll see later. It was a cool poster for the, as part of the VIP package. And then this was a view um, from our seats in the second row watching him play. Next up from a trip to Baltimore to see the Dog Fashion Disco reunion. Um, I think it was that reunion show that led to the either the announcement or it was following up after they'd uh, done Sweet Nothings. But that was, I think, the first time I'd met Todd and Jason. And we have Tub Ring. This is one of three albums that I'm in the thank you credits for, so I thought I'd get those on the wall. This is the only one that's mounted currently. The other two are CDs. But this is a best of and a really cool album set color-wise, so... I wanted it up there for multiple reasons. From the Psycho Stick VIP experience, um, I get to hang out with Idea Men, Psycho Stick, and something involving a monkey. And this was just a quick shot I got of us while we were in the green room. We got to just chit chat for hours and it was a fantastic time. And then we've got Dog Fashion Disco, um, as I mentioned, they, after the reunion shows, ended up recording Sweet Nothings. And this is a signed drum head, and it has the session number for the um, session that this was recorded with. So that was part of the making of the album. This is a shot of the Will Turn. So three of the four LA dates that I went out and saw um, Faith No More were at this venue. Next up is my buddy Mike, uh, a little tuckered out after being in the pit. That's him actually on the far right. Um, I think having a little fun to Agent Orange, and that was at Skatopia, which uh, may know of that from being a level within the Tony Hawk Skateboard Games or the documentary 88 Acres of Anarchy. And this was from a Dwarves show. Um, after this show, we got to meet Nick Oliveri there on the left. Also uh, known from his time with Mondo Generator, Caius, and Queens of the Stone Age. The guy's got a little history, so I was a little apprehensive about meeting him, but I will tell you he was a complete sweetheart in person. So it was a great surprise. Next up, one of the most recent posters that we've got. And this was from the Tool Show, actually captured just last weekend. Really cool uh, foil variant, hologram stamped. And then next up is, uh, I believe, Night 2 from LA at the Wiltern. Cool poster, all of the Faith No More shows are signed by the band. And this is one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken at a concert, which was right on the gate in the front of the venue and a picture I got of Mike Patton getting ready to sing through the bullhorn. Scooching right along. If you remember the flag from the beginning, there's uh, me with Weird Al Yankovic and he's signing that. And I got to ask him a question about one of my favorite movies, UHF, which he does a commentary track for. and rattles off facts so fast throughout the entire thing that I was curious if he had actually memorized all that or had, um, you know, uh, uninterrupted memory about it all. And he said, no, he had a lot of notes. So he did it seamlessly. I couldn't tell he was reading from any notes. Next up is from Scott Ian, some handwritten lyrics for the song Black Lodge. And this is for an Anthrax song, not with Belladonna, but I still love the song. Um, so handwritten by him, um, and then moving on is Maynard James Keenan from Tool. This is what he looked like during this show that was seen in San Diego. 
And so this is a poster signed by the band and the artwork is by Adam Jones, the guitarist. Moving right into the oldest poster that I actually own, State of the Gort. It was a gift from a friend and this was an art show that was all Gwar themed art and this was promoting the event. That's very cool. This was getting to meet uh, Primus for the first time, doing a Q&A. And this is a picture I took of Max Sabbath playing, and uh, the singer got right in my face when he saw that I was taking some pictures and mugged for me a little bit, but it made for a great photo. Next up, fortunate slash unfortunate Peeping Tom uh, poster. Uh, fortunate in the fact that my friend gave me this. Unfortunate in the fact that I was not at this show. So, um, love the band. Really would have liked to have been there. Still love the poster though. It's great. And next up from the same concert as this Tool show, uh, it was two nights of Tool and Primus. And this was the Primus poster that I got signed by the band. And a picture of the venue out there in San Diego. This was meeting Les Claypool for the first time, as I mentioned at that Cincinnati show. And then this was the day of poster for that event. And this one's signed by everyone. And then one of the first digital concerts attended, one of the first ones I think that had happened um, during the pandemic, uh, Mr. Bungle got together and made a live performance. It was awesome. So got this poster signed by them and a picture of me and my nephews attending our first virtual show. And then a true rarity in this room is the Mrs. and I at a concert together. She rarely goes and has all kinds of rules as to which ones she will go to. But this one qualified and it was Weezer and the Pixies. And I got a day of poster for the Pixies, which I thought was pretty cool. Moving on, Pucifer had a digital show and it was the Live at the Arcasante and this was the poster that I'd gotten from that. Uh, one of a few foil posters that I have. I like all the ones that I have, but this one, special place in my heart because that is just some crazy artwork. And it's signed by the main three people in the band. This is Mike Patton and Faith No More night three, the final night at the Will Turn in LA. And that is Danny DeVito next to him. So if you know anything about those two, they've been friends for a long time and he showed up at the show to support him. And to give Puffy an unwanted back rub during the performance. So that was kind of funny. And a really cool poster from the event. Next up from another digital concert, but a really awesome poster. Um, the Money Shot concert that Pucifer held, signed by the band, and it was round, so I definitely had to get a custom frame for this one. And a picture of them from that show. I haven't seen that one live. It was a uh, pretty awesome. They had all the luchadors performing while they were doing stuff. Then moving on to Anthrax's 40th anniversary show. We've got a poster signed by the whole band with some amazing artwork. A picture signed by Scott Ian himself and a snapshot from a Zoom session that I had as part of the VIP experience for that uh, show. And my nephews and I got to talk to them. And I assure you they were there even though they got propped out a bit in <laughs> that particular picture. Moving on to my favorite poster in the room. This was the final fourth night of Faith No More in LA at the observatory. Just awesome artwork, love this poster. Again, signed, all of those were signed by the band. And as an extra bonus, ended up just randomly meeting Glenn Howerton from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and AP Bio and many other things. And he was exceptionally nice and took the time. It was just a really cool, unexpected moment. A more recent Primus show. Um, you'll see two posters from this. This was the VIP poster signed by the band. 
This was getting to meet the whole band, not just Les, which was a really awesome bonus. And from last summer, uh, some friends, Nathan, Ian, um, and their lady friends, we are in Chicago for Riot Fest, which was an amazing outdoor concert, three day, four day venue. And this was the poster that did not happen, but we were able to get our hands on a really sweet foiled version of the poster and they went really fast. So props to Ian for making that happen. But Mr. Bungle, Faith No More, um, all the patent bands had to pull out of the show, unfortunately. So this is the second of that uh, Primus shows that you saw below. And this was the Columbus specific one, which is an amalgamation of all the artwork that uh, kind of represents the different songs from uh, Primus's career. And that was a shot from the show I took in the stands. Next up, this is Red Rocks, um, a show I was unable to attend, but was originally going to be there. Um, so this is a tunnel that connects the stage to the sound booth. My friend Jeff was able to go down there and even has his uh, name now in that hallway. And this was the poster from that show. I had just taken a new job and was unable to make the trip. So he snagged me up this uh, signed poster from that show. Next up, 311. I'm going to cover this one. This was a Columbus show with my friends Jeff and Jason. And then also a shot of 311 and a poster from Allentown, Pennsylvania, that was done up like uh, the Nintendo NES Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles style art. Um, those two posters actually ended up touring the entire U.S. and out into international waters to get signed. So uh, Jeff was super gracious. I shipped him out to L.A. He followed the band for quite a ways and then was able to get them both signed by them and back to me. So my friend Jason and I uh, meeting Jay and Silent Bob, a.k.a. Kevin Smith and Jason Muse, and we're all uh, just having a good time. Another time that I got to meet Kevin Smith, both of these were screenings for their films. And then this was from the um, Hollywood Babylon touring uh, show with Ralph Garman, Kevin Smith. So signed by both of them. And that, I think for now, sums up the current state of the pool room, a.k.a. concert room. Hope you enjoyed.